hello guys welcome back so in this video we'll be discussing how to publish a report with image so publishing report with image and styles is same so for now I have created a folder here in my project saying images and a logo which, I, which is a PNG file so I'm just going to add image in this report and publish that to Jasper server it's very simple just you need to go to your basic elements from uh, palette and uh, just drag your image to your canvas and go to workspace click on the logo or else you can do something like click on workspace browse so if you don't find your image you can just search your image with the look a uh, name like this so it'll go geo so, so i only have one folder that's the reason it's not seeing too much of uh, repositories here so just click on that you can see the logo displayed at the bottom and just press on ok and now we'll just drag it a little bit okay so this is how so i'm just going to make it a uh, center now i'm just going to preview this report we'll see whether it's working or not so if you're aware of my previous videos you will be understanding how i have created this all reports and all those things and now uh, this video is fifth video which i'm showing you guys how to publish a report with image so it's very simple just do this thing and click on publish so you need to set up your just for server in your uh, repository explorer here so this was already done so when you you need to watch my second video how to do this so so i'm going to publish in my my reports and just press on next and uh, this says override because we are you need to actually override this image for the first time when you're trying to publish this report if it's first time so this takes the path like this a rep a report dot logo dot png so the repo is actually the jasper servers re uh, repository and it stores in the for uh, it stores as logo dot png so it is acts this report will actually publish to server and the report will be accessing from the repo dot colon logo png so this is how it's going to be of this so i'm just going to press next okay and finish we will see whether this report has been applied or not i'll just refresh this page server and we'll just click on this sorry i think i'm out of parameters So I think I have removed the parameters. So okay. Yes, the report has been come to this place. And uh, if you watched my previous video about input controls, you can do the same. Creating, uh, you can simply add a uh, image here actually, and you can even point that to your report. But for now. If you go to your reports and just click on this and press, uh, click on edit so you can see here when controls and resources you can see the logo.png is been uploaded from your repository from your local repository to server and this is running from there so you can make it uh, like you wish it like adding a resource and uh, so this is a logo which I have so this is not actually that thing one second local host that is not the way how to add actually images sorry for that just for server okay so right click on your images add resources and click on one second. file and image just click on this so it's ask it asks you for a file so i'm selecting the file logo.png and this is images the save location will be images just submit 
okay so we have the logo.png in this place and uh, we can go to reports sorry my reports click on this edit and controls and resources so i'm going to add resource select browse images logo.png select okay and next so you can name it as my logo and press next okay so i'll just try to remove this and see what happens and i'll submit this and i'll try to run the report again click on this i'm just going to the name so it says an exception we'll go with the exception ones we'll see what is happening in the log files so so it says caused by byte not phone report dot logo dot png so we need to actually make the id with logo dot png okay so i'm just going to copy this and go to my server close back reports edit so controls and resources i'm gonna sorry i'll go to home images click on this edit this is perfectly right not at all a problem sorry now i'll go to my input controls sorry my reports i'll just go to edit and uh, controls and resources i'll remove this again and i'll click click on add resources select okay browse images logo select and click on next so you can write here anything my logo and just make sure your id is logo.png next right i think we are done with this submit so i'm going to go to my reports again and click on this report we'll see how it's going to work now okay, okay. that's it so like this we can actually add our custom image to the resources and publish that with the report or you can directly do that you can directly push from your studio so this is how it works guys so thank you for watching